All right, we should be live. What's Gaming Gamers? It's your boy Olino, and I'm coming at you live with more of our Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z playthrough. Uh, we are now on the Dominion of Canada. So, again, I go by the exact country name doing the A to Z, which is why we are just now getting to Canada and why we have not done Alsa yet, because that's the Sultanate of Alsa. But yeah. Based on how the Nate, our submarines work with Dominion of Canada, I think that's going to be our main contribution. We might build some divisions, try to do a little something, something, but I think otherwise Navy's probably going to be our primary focus. But we'll go through all our other stuff. Let me send the links out. There and there. And there and more spot. All right, there we go. So that should be pretty good. All sent out. So yeah, so and we're doing historical. So that's gonna be strength and Commonwealth ties and all that fun stuff. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because this is all like, yeah, le leaving the Allies or yeah, basically patriation is cutting ties with the UK. So. Uh, what kind of stuff? 5% from tech sharing bonus, 3% from tech sharing bonus, shadow factories, army modernization, war bonds. Yeah, we need that to work on fixing our, we have the conscription crisis, which is not great, but then we also have this great depression, which is really not great, 50%. I suppose it's 50% consumer goods factors, which only scales us up to 44%. So honestly, yeah, how does that work for the Great Depression? For the, okay, so they have 60%. It's not great, but I mean, that could be, that could be a lot worse. Uh, I think we'll want to just build civilian factories initially. Wow, we have terrible infrastructure. Um, well, shoot, do we want to build a level of infrastructure? I mean, the problem is we don't have a lot of free building slots. I'm wondering if we want to utilize the, uh, um, like, we have civilian economy, which is going to be difficult to get rid of. Uh, well, I guess we send attaches. That'll get us up to 10% plus some world tension. That should be fine. I want to go ahead and start pushing on submarines. Hmm. Well, we only have one dockyard for the time being, so... Again, much prefer the infantry equipment manufacturer. I guess we'll put everything on guns for the time being. Father of the Canadian Welfare State sets a stability bonus. Um, extra infrastructure is good. I don't, I don't, I don't know what we want to, the plan. So a bunch of bonuses for bombers. Interesting. Does this affect heavy fighters? For reg oh yeah, heavy fighters get a little bit of range and air attack. David. Hey, oh yeah, good to see it. Uh how's my day been? I'm ready for Friday. That's how my day's been, but you know. It's a, get some streams. I was going to uh, actually think about playing some Mountain Blade, but I think I'll try to do that sometime this weekend. Uh, 
but I was like, I saw Canada was next in the A to Z playthrough, and I was like, eh, Canada's at least got unique content, and also if I'm doing naval stuff, I can take it easy with that one. Which, yeah, I think what the move is to just go straight down here. Uh, so there's this one, but we can't do that. Wait. 120% world tension. Great. Yeah, Fridays are nice. Uh, it, it's the, as the philosopher said, everybody's working for the weekend. Uh, do I have a silent workhorse? Oh, yes, I do. Nice. Cool. So that's really the only guy we are really going to want. Grab all our divisions, just throw them all together. Uh, prefer a guy with high infrastructure. Graduating college was so much hard work. Oh yeah, I hope that I hope that goes well. Is this your uh, is this your last semester? Have all those guys grouped together. Who I want to build, so I'm going to get free infrastructure from this one. That's in Manitoba in the Northwest Territories. So I don't think I'm going to get any infrastructure in... we get some infrastructure in New Brunswick. Okay, so... Doesn't... Yeah, so I'm not seeing infrastructure elsewhere. Yep, I don't see infrastructure for that one, so what I don't know what state. So that's New Brunswick. So that'd get a bunch of so I think I'd rather build infrastructure here. They'll build a bunch of civilian factories and uh, well Hmm. Problem is I might want to build dockyards there instead, I suppose. So We'll actually just build there. That's fine. Learn computer science to try to become a coder. Also, I tried the recipe. It's very good. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Supposed to depends on your marks. Yeah, I hope that goes well. What What programming languages do you use? I go elect. What to do for this? Because I'd like to optimize getting the research speed bonus as much. Well, I gotta do basic machine tools to get dispersed industry, and I should do construction for more build speed, and I should do this for more research speed. So we're not building any uh anything really yet. So. They only release this country by either completing Force Quebec conscription or compromise with Quebec. Uh, and then we do a debug smooth for free performance. And again, I'm not playing with player led peace conferences or state transfer tool. State transfer tool has been updated for the latest version of the game, and I haven't tried. Uh, I haven't tried to see if it works without. It, uh, what do I have? Cool, I have two ships. Alright, well, let's move these guys over here, because I think... Well... How useful would they be raiding? I guess I might actually try to raid the Mediterranean. Actually, yeah, because the war in the Mediterranean is going to start sooner, so I may as well try and move my fleet... Fleet... Into the Mediterranean. Oh, yeah, I guess we could also give refuge to scientists. We have so much stability. Kind of crazy. Do we start with trains? Yes, we do.
plus C sharp. Okay, yeah, I've used I've I've used C plus plus Java and Python. I've used JavaScript barely on like a website project. I also submits to Italy's demands. Unsurprising, unfortunately. I guess one thing would try to be to go ahead and get my autonomy, but I don't know if I leave the Commonwealth research if I get my independence. Oh, we're not we're not gonna rush independence. I don't think we really Overlord trade costs. Yeah, we're not actually giving them any of our factories, so that's not really a problem. What's my, uh, district militia? Yep, we'll just switch everybody over to this template. And we'll just have them exercise. Cool, we'll go ahead and add a silent workhorse for the political power gain. And then what? I guess I'm just doing this to try and get the extra factories, really. So, yeah, because I'm locked out. I mean, I could do some of this stuff, but I want to wait for him to do more research before really getting these research bonuses, because it won't matter as much. And that stuff still does. Learn what coding is in the first place. Yeah, I've been forced to, well, I've been forced to, I'm doing a lot more Python for my career. Oh, and I also know Fortran. Can't forget that. Uh, I think a lot of people would like to forget Fortran, but we just can't. Not going anywhere. Damn, do I even care about getting radio? Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, I mean, I am going to need, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the fuel storage one, because I will need the increased fuel. I'm going to be importing so much oil, which fortunately we can import via a land route with the United States, so. Full alert, that's where a lot of our resources are going to be coming from. Yes, I want to try and improve opinion with. Nah, our war support's too low. I'm not going to have the command power to send an attache to, uh... Public in Spain. Do I want to go ahead and get the... The point two guy. Who do not cost me? Because I'm not really going to use the army offense. And then that way, because I need my command power for sending attaches. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get this old guard guy just to get some ticking army XP, honestly. Fine, we'll build some trains. Socialist revolution. In what way is a military dictatorship socialist? Honestly, I think, alright. I know some of my viewers are like, you gotta do concentrated industry. I think this one, it'll actually be worth it to do concentrated industry because... I'm either going to be building, like, fighters and naval bombers, or just building ships, which, ship for ships, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, so we'll do concentrated, because else we shouldn't be getting bombed as Canada. I think we'll go ahead and give refuge for these but research speed bonuses also. <laughs> ah, because we lost some stability, so that unfortunately lo lost us a civilian factory effectively. 
my command power drop? No, it's just going up very slowly. <laughs> trying to think. Like, we could make... I could also try and make tanks to sell to people. I don't know what the AI actually likes to buy. But, like, I guess I, I do want to prioritize just researching things that have already been researched by the team. Do I have a... I do not have a design company for ships. Do I have... What's my naval? Halifax, destroyer effort, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, escort fleet, fleet and being. Gauss halls, light hull, ship protection, technology degaussing. Convoy production cost minus 25%. That's pretty crazy. But no submarine bonuses, it looks like. So no real reason not to uh, not to go ahead and research submarines and, and get those guys going. So I may as well do it. Go ahead and do this other give refuge because we just don't have the command power to do anything. Get all the research speed bonuses. Oh shoot, he gets 2% research speed. Neat. Do I want to go ahead and get the Halifax shipyard so I can build convoys and sell convoys? I think so, actually. Maybe these guys top priority, because the infantry I mean, trains can probably be lower priority. Because I could just sell convoys to get a little bit of extra uh construction speed which would actually be good because i have such bad consumer goods so yeah i think that's not a bad idea so is that one of the only line lock okay so i've got some other line lock states but uh so we got our extra uh do I have anywhere that's got... I mean, in theory, I'll get more building slot. I mean, eventually, a plus 100%. Well, if I build max infrastructure, I can also get an extra building slot via the focuses. So, I don't... I think these are all the same. Rural region, rural region, rural region. Yep. Cool. I guess we could also get industrial research speed. Train production cost, minus 25%. The problem is I don't think the AI will really buy a lot of trains, so I don't think it's really worth it. Alright, I don't... I mean, we could try and rush trade fleet, but I don't think we're going to sell that many convoys. Reclaim the Empire? Wait, wrong time. Yeah, well... <laughs> We're, we're in the actual timeline. Four naval dockyards is a lot of naval dockyards. Um, we'll go ahead and do... Go ahead and do the research ties. I, or... I want to do... So this one gives building slots... Reduce political advisor cost. Man, the problem is, not my political... I guess the civilian guy... I guess the civilian guy and the, the war industrialist are both useful. Oh, and he gives uh, plus 5% civilian factory construction. Okay, yeah, I, sure. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Oh, that's only a 35-day focus. What are these other ones? About 70, of course. Paradox, give me more 35-day focuses. What do we got? Uh, let's go ahead. I mean, we're not going to get any research bonuses for submarines, so we may as well just bite the bullet. I don't want to be reliant on the AI researching things to give us research bonuses, usually. Concentrate, I think, is also good, because I 
think the AI is more likely to do concentrated. Because I know I always complain when I'm in the Commonwealth because I always do dispersed and then I'm pretty sure they always do. Not dispersed. Was this one. Go ahead, do improved worker conditions to get our stability up some more. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and sell a bunch of convoys. And then come one, come all. They should have a lot of democratic, yeah. Because basically I have all the democratic countries can buy from me. Have good focus trees now, like Canada, India, South Africa. Uh, India's I do not like. Um, well, so British British Malaya doesn't have a focus tree. I mean, these are the focus trees that are added in Together for Victory, which I think Together for Victory doesn't exist anymore. I think it got rolled into the base game. Hold on, let me check. But I think they just put it in the base game. Yeah, so Together for Victory is just part of base. Like, they rolled three DLC into Base Hearts of Iron 4. Um... The other for victory being one of them. Uh, the India focus tree, I'm not super keen on. Um, I don't think it's very interesting. Uh, I have a lot of problems doing, like, the, the civil wars that occur when you try to flip ideologies suck. Um, there's been lots that have done that, but... Uh, South Africa's is kind of wacky. Um, particularly like this fascist thing you could do where you could bring Edward VIII back. Um, why is it that mod, the mods are more developed than the vanilla game? So, I mean, there are a couple, I mean, I think that's, uh, I mean, there are several reasons for that. So number one, you got to keep in mind that when, for like, for like a mod like Kaiserreich, Kaiserreich, they're not really changing the base game mechanics. Um, I mean, even in something like the New Order, yeah, they have, like, a bunch of systems and everything, but the core combat system's still more or less the same. Grand, they overhaul the economy and whatnot. Um, but it's also the thing that, you know, they're working on the overall game mechanics, so there's that. Um, and there's a... Uh, and there's the fact that they're getting... Hey, like all the p all the work that goes into making the DLC for Hearts of Iron Four is developer man hours that you have to spend money on. I mean, I don't know what a Paradox developer gets paid in Sweden or whatever, but I assume they're getting paid, you know, uh, you know, sixty, eighty, sixty, eighty, hundred k a year thereabouts. Um, which dollarize that, that means it's a mi minimum like $30 an hour development time. Whereas you compare that to something like Kaiserreich, where people are just working for free. And also you have a, I think that, I honestly think a lot of the mods have bigger teams overall than Paradox does. See, aforementioned, you have to pay the Paradox employees, whereas, you know, anybody could show up, presumably the Kaiserreich Forbes, be like, hey, I have an idea for this country, here's all this stuff, but they might be like, cool, just start working on it. Um. Weird Macedonian Civil War, particularly the of America, Buried States of MacArthur under, Buried States of America under MacArthur. Yeah, I mean, Oh, that's right. It gets rid of the focus tree. I mean, they're kind of, you know, just... I mean, people like their wacky and wild uh, paths. I mean, come on. You can form Byzantium as Greece. I mean, what are we... What are we talking about here? <laughs> like, you know, that's one of the things guys are They're like, we're not going to let Greece restore the Byzantine Empire because it doesn't make any sense. And like, you know, they, you know, for them, they, you know, could get 
to have their sort of wackier paths that don't make a whole lot of sense. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, there's a reason why in, like, uh, as far as I know, in Kaiserreich, basically with none of the paths, like, I mean, there's the whole thing that a core game mechanic in, like, Hoi 4 for a lot of countries is flipping ideal. well, I guess it's only for the generic focus trees prim primarily, but flipping ideologies by taking, like, the ideology advisors, whereas in, like, most, uh, most mods, at least I play, like, Old World Blues, Kaiserreich, The New Order, you do you can't just flip ideology by picking an advisor, which is kind of interesting because that's like a core mechanic. Um, and then of course there's also the fact that, uh, you know, paradox doesn't. I think part of it is that also the experience people want from mods. Like one of the things that like Kaiser and the New Order do is they're very and uh, Old World Blues to a lesser extent. They're very heavy on the lore and events, and, like, the narrative, and the role-playing, the education, and everything, whereas I don't think Paradox emphasizes that nearly enough, because it's much more supposed to be, like, a sandbox, and they're also not trying to be a historical authority on something, because, like, it's one of those things, like, in our timeline, you want to know what Canada did in World War II, open up Wikipedia, read about Canada in World War II, you know? Um... Whereas obviously in Kaiserreich, they or in Kaiserreich in the New Order, they literally have to build the world because they're making up everything. So if you have questions, I forgot to get the extra army XP gain. Um, ah, oh yeah, Sunset Invasion. I only play like a couple Crusader Kings games long enough to get to that point, but yeah, that was always pretty wild. Oh, so we'll get the production efficiency cap. Yeah, no problem. I mean, again, I. At the end of the day, I don't know. I think the big thing at the end of the day is how much money, though. Like, what what's their profit margin on the DLC at the end of the day? That's the real question. Because if the DLC are, like, you know, 75%, you know, 75% of their revenue is profit for that, then, yeah, there, I think there is more of an argument that, like, Paradox can be seen as more just, like, greedy and putting out less content and charging more money for it. Um, but conversely, they might only make, you know, like 10% profit or whatever. And again, you know, people don't, the Paradox employees don't work for free. <laughs> oh, this, this guy only costs 50 political power. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and start improving relations with China because we'll need to send an attache to them soon. Looks like we should have the command power to send an attache when the war starts. But yeah, and, and again, another big thing I'm very curious about, because I, I don't think Hearts of Iron 4's development team is super big in Paradox. Like, I think it's only, like, maybe, like, two dozen people or whatever, whereas I think that, like, the in, the amount of, like, overall man hours that have been contributed to Kaiserreich, I think is a lot more. Um, And that's all people, again, that's all people working for free, basically, so... Do I want to do... I mean, I guess I may as well research AA. If it's free. Well, let's get construction speed. Then do I have excavation? Okay, I do have some excavation techs. Anarchist Uprising, yeah, surprise, surprise. I'll also say that, like, with Hyperic, like, there's definitely a lot more effort going into the newer versions of, like, the newer countries they're releasing in Kaiserreich. But, like, you can go on the Kaiserreich subreddit and see the meme of, like, literally... Every single ideology path for a lot of countries is the same, where it's like, oh, you do, like, the syndicalist path, and you get some factories, or you do the totalist path and get some better army stuff, or you do, like, the rad sock path and get some, like, building slots and recruitable population. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, that's why, like, yeah, that's one of the things, you know, it all gets down to what you're trying to do in, like, narratives and stuff. And, I mean, even that, I mean, at the end of the day, like, there's still a lot of, I mean, there are a lot of problems with, like, trying to manage all the interactions of Kaiser and, like, Hearts of Iron Fort stuff. But you get weird stuff where, like, the UK and Italy can go totalist, but France can go, like, ra radical socialist and really emphasize individual liberty. But, like, the, like, authoritarian, like, hyper-centralized regimes still recognize France as the leader of the Third International and their ideologies would be wildly different. Like, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Which they'll probably, like, address in reworks in the future, but still, like... Uh, let's get the... Okay, now we'll get the research bonus. Yeah, and I mean, that's one of the things that comes down... Well, I think that comes down to, like, who's working on... I know one of the big things with Kaiser is it comes down to who's doing the, uh... Individual rework. How many convoys... Okay, I still have a ton of convoys, so... Start building submarines... Yeah, let's go and start building submarines. Uh, I could go ahead and have those guys just go to the Atlantic Squadron, and these guys can exercise, and I do have ooh, spotting speed. What does spotting let you do? Torpedo screen penetration. Eh, I'd rather get Seawolf. Naval speed, naval damage, positioning. I feel like that guy's better. Let's do that. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, I mean, that's the thing that, like, again, realistically, like, if France did, you know, the most, like, democratic, And then Germany also did their most, like, democratic, like, SPD path or whatever. And Britain and France went, like, Brit or ugh, Italy, Britain, and Russia all went, like, you know, Italy and Britain go their totalist authoritarian path, and Savinkov wins in Russia and gets, like, their authoritarian, like, nationalist path. Like, it's unlikely... But it's not impossible that, like, again, you could have, like, peaceful reconciliation, uh in France, or, like, France and Germany might be like, hey, these guys are kind of crazy, you know? But they wouldn't do that in Kaiserreich, because that's not the narrative of the game. Like, that's not something that they would want to, you know, do. And also, that would be really complicated to do. Like, sometimes the international is these people, but other times it's not, and how those factions go. Or it's like, contrast that to, like, Kaiserreich, where you can bring the central powers back, baby. Or do all kinds of weird faction stuff. Oh, and of course, Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 has to work with any combination of DLC. Um, which can be a bit, a bit daunting, to say the least. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save because I want to do the next level of concentrated industry. So I'll do that, save that, go ahead and work on that for 303. And, uh, you know, 30 days before you get strength of Commonwealth ties. Uh, I need to get, like, okay, fleet speed while retreating. Yeah, that'd be good. I think I care about these ones. None of these buff submarines, so I don't care, really. Uh, I'm waiting for the war in China to start. Legal nation support. We should organize this properly. But does it... Like, bit, wait, they're still around? Oh, wow. I've never seen that. Huh.
I mean, shoot. Okay, now I'm... Well, now I'm tempted. Yeah, I could only send one division, but hey, one division's a... One division's one division. Because all it is is if you just hold their capital. Ah! Thank you, game. Our CMP is my intel. You know what? Sure. Sure. Where did it arrive? Oh, it arrived in the spot. Oh, yeah, the Soviet Union's got volunteers, and France has got volunteers. What the heck? Let's go. I got a hill fighter. Uh, so I'm going to use a cop, of course. Of course. Oh, I want a naval advisor. Commerce rating? Yeah, I'm going to be doing commerce rating. China's still not at war yet, but it'll happen soon. I think we should be careful that we don't actually get encircled, because that would make me sad. And world tension better not drop below 5%. I'm going to be upset. My focus gets cancelled from that. What'd I say? Ugh. I hate it when they have that stuff. Bo might die? Oh well. Oh yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Eh, no worries if you have to hop off. There's always the there's always the VOD to watch. This is crazy. I I mean we've done a lot of A to Z's and I don't think we've ever seen Ethiopia survive. Oh, wait, what? Really? Huh. Okay. Well, that was weird. But she's been not actually gonna... Ever fulfill that order. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get some AA. Well, may as well get our research speed guy. We don't have a naval theorist. Interesting. Does that sound the sound of a ship being produced? Oh, cannot deploy. Why can't you deploy? Or fine, you deploy in British Colum or not British Columbia, uh, St. Lawrence. Oh, because we have no manpower, that's why. Uh -huh. I'll do it. Well, then you could actually just deploy to the Atlantic Squadron. I'm gonna trust it. Uh, well, we're at 14% world tension, so that should be high enough.
Patriot. I mean, I think it's because it's just so rare for that to, uh, uh, occur. Like, I'm trying to think with the, uh, yeah, trying to cancel the contract. Said attache, let's go. All right, we're at 25%, so I should... And we can do partial mobilization just barely. Oh, shoot, I want to get naval reform. Now let's go ahead and get night fighting, I think. And then uh, I usually will go for Sea Wolf. Not that it matters, but we'll switch to Trader Addiction eventually. I guess we'll go ahead and get Radio. What's that sound that keeps happening with the ships? Is that ships being damaged? speed. Um, let's... I guess I... Oh, I want that oil, actually. So, let Yeah, we can do that. So, we'll, we'll get through these, then. Um, uh, build more... Was that gas? Try to sell some trains. Maybe people want trains. Whoops. I ah, shoot. I didn't want to cancel that. Whoops. Oh, maybe it's the orders having problems, maybe? I feel like that's a new sound, though. I don't remember hearing that sound before. We'll just stick with Grand Battle Plan. Grand Battle Plan's fine. No yeah, problem. Uh, anything else? So, oh yeah, I guess this War Industrialist I want to get. Oh, and I wanted to go to Partial Mobilization. Oops. Yeah, like what what's making that sound in the game? It's it ships getting damaged. Nice. I had some taquitos today. All right, partial mobilization time. I'll still want to finish those guys, but then we can. For stockyards, you don't get. Yeah, it's just military factory construction speed. You don't get a bonus to dockyard construction speed.
Want to switch trade interdiction. Doing if you don't mind me asking. Oh, they're doing uh well enough. Uh, I plan on hopefully visiting them for uh hopefully we'll be visiting them for Christmas, but we'll see what happens. Aw, oh, thanks for saying that. Yeah, I keep I keep in touch with them, talk to them pretty uh regularly. I gotta stop accepting. I guess even if these get partially filled, it's still worth it. Wait, what's the uh Finland considered a oh shoot I want to try and get that yeah you try and get that before the war so otherwise they'll lease it to the United States I think yeah I mean it's not core territory for them so better I have it Check on Iran or add some stuff to Iran? I mean, they're just... Oh, I can actually see their entire focus. Uh, yeah, I mean... They, Iran does... I mean, uh, the UK... The United Kingdom... I'm not... Lack of civilian factories or convoys or no delivery route. Or Philippines. You gotta spend convoys to make convoys. Anti-submarine expert. Um, maybe that'd be useful. You're part of Canada. What? Uh, Newfoundland or like this little island here? It does seem like the AI super buys a whole lot of stuff. The very top part. What, like way up here? Do I get this one? Oh, this part... wait. Oh, uh, props of Nova So these are... this part isn't actually connected. They have it connected by land there. Great of Kansas. So I guess they just don't even model that in the game. Uh, did I want to do, I mean, I guess I may as well do the land integration, yeah. Uh, are we export, I mean, shoot, I might want to go to free trade. I'm producing steel, but it's probably not worth it. Well, I'm going to be using it, ah, but I produce so little steel. I think it's probably worth to go to free trade, get the bonuses.
Our attachés will be sent where we please. In other words, we tell Canada to deal with it. Or tell Japan to deal with it. What are they going to do? Invade us? Oh, cool. Uh, this is the Czechoslovakia, Munich Conference, Munich Diktat, whatever you want to call it. Envoy defense doctor. Envoy defense. Oh. I see. It. So it was sub subtask of fleet and being. Oh well. Convoy defense doctor. Well, convoy defense doctrine doesn't exist. It, there's. It's so weird. All right, let's pray that I can get the UK love me. Yes, multi roll. Yeah, this gives all the medium plane bonuses. So, what we'll do. I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. They're at 100 pinions, so hopefully they give me what I want. What I really, really want. They need to fix it so you don't need convoys to receive, to like buy convoys, because again, it's like chicken and egg scenario. Come on, Britain, don't be a stickler. Well, okay, then. Are they just not doing it? It'd be annoying. Yay! Huge increase of opinion of the United Kingdom. Yippee! And that's core territory for us. Stay for a while, my pop later. We're gonna have a great rest of your day tonight. Yeah, you too. Good luck on studying. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we'll keep it up. I had to take a bit of a break there, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I will have to. I'm traveling like in May, so I'll be gone. I won't be able to stream while I'm doing that, but otherwise, you know, trying to do stuff. I have some other video ideas also that I might start doing, so you might see that in the future, but yeah. Hold on, can I do... How did I do this? 
<laughs> does it make the little heart one? Wait, I can add. There we go. Oh, do a space after typing. Okay, gotcha. Keep that in mind in the future. Our building slots there. Still gotta get this whole... Well, we can't get rid of the Great Depression until we're at war, unfortunately. Which... Wait, can we? Oh! Never mind, actually, we might be able to get around it now. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay, so it's like Discord then, in that regard. Agility, I always go for whatever boosts dog fighting the most because that's what matters the most for fighters. Yep, see you later. Alright, uh, more fuel per oil or do we want more research? I, I probably could just bite the bullet and get more with the higher tier submarines. We won't be able to do the 1944 submarine rush, unfortunately, but that, that'll be fine. Hey, yeah, that's right. I want those research slots. I guess they should just go ahead and queue up infrastructure everywhere. Because everywhere I'll be able to do rejoin industrial land integration and get more building slots. Might also, I mean, I think we might have better luck building medium tanks. Those might actually get some interest for being bought. We'll see. Range, air attack, air defense. Yeah, air attack, air defense gives you the best dogfighting bonuses out of all of those. What air bonuses do I get? Nothing for mediums. Cool.
air superiority, air superiority to, to do exactly the same thing. I'll do the anti-submarine one because submarines presumably can detect submarines. You know, reason why they couldn't. Do those excavations. War should start soon. Which I actually... Uh, I'll probably keep it because France should fall pretty quickly, I think. Oh, infantry equipment reduced production cost. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder, I bet you pay a flat price for tanks. So I bet I probably just want to make a pretty cheap tank then if the AI will buy them. How does selling equipment work? What's it based off of? International market. Purchasing. Two x the production cost of the qu equipment for you to build. Okay, so in theory, more expensive tanks. Um, do you sell for more? Interesting. Okay, then I guess I would want to make good tanks. I think. Rather get reliability, rather get production output. And then probably armor. Because you want to try and get above that armor threshold. We'll go ahead and disband these planes. War was declared. UK will forcibly call us in. Now we're at war, so we can do our war focuses. Why can't I do war propaganda? Less than 50%. Oh, we're already above 50%. All right, well, fine. Probably could do war economy. More than 80%. Yeah, we're probably not getting 80% war support. I guess we could try to go ahead and move the guys up here for the time being. Should be able to move through the straits, I think. Yeah.
Very cool. Sinking some convoys. We getting any kills? Yep. Just presumably trade convoys. How are these my convoys? Wait, no, they're Australian convoys. It's just my submarines were in the engagement. Took a little bit of damage. I think. There go my destroyers. But that was to be expected. So the war. Submarines can't... Oh, that's a problem. Well, shoot. All my submarines got trapped then. I didn't realize that. Seriously? Well, oops. But I don't think these guys can function at all. They're kind of just trapped. Oh well. I mean, we get the manpower back at least. And they are not great submarines, so. In fact, I'll probably just wait till I have the. Where are these other ones? Oh, there they are. Once again, we can have automatic split enabled. I want to research the improved submarine damage. Which one was I doing? I was doing escort fleet. Yeah, I forget. I think you get supply consumption and land night attack off one of these. Yeah, so I like that path. Alright, let's build more dockyards. Get a good number of factories from trade since, you know, they can't trade with a bunch of, uh, 
Entries. Oh, Rudolph has hijacked the Hindenburg. Hmm. There's not a lot to do in the way of customizing submarines. I don't really care about the production efficiency tech because dockyards aren't affected by production efficiency. Uh, proof work. Could it, yeah, we could get a little bit more stability. Yeah, we want the extra factories. Alright, our new submarine should be pretty good, though, in action. Uh, well, he has, like, no ships operating here, so... Well, it'll be useful to have the fleet here when Vichy starts. Uh, fights in North Africa, because last time the Allies had trouble doing that. But... Oops. Right, oh yeah, that's what we like. Oh yeah, because he's got a bunch of convoys traveling to supply that, so yeah. Actually, probably want to remove that region then and just have all my ships focus on raiding the convoys here, because they have to go there to, like, convoys, even if they coming into that port, they have to travel through this one. So if I just start raiding these guys a bunch, he's going to have bad supply problems. Oh, yeah, we're raiding a lot of comments. Not to mention troop reinforcements, which... Oh, yeah, we've already inflicted 50k casualties. Thanks. That does kind of suck. We lost some of those, uh... Submarines, but we got all the manpower back. So, like, at the end of the day... Eh. But just, you know, yeah, so the Danish... 
belts or something where enemies can not get through. I guess that's for most of these straights. If they're enemy, you can't get through. But sometimes, like, yeah, you'll have, like, the Gibraltar straights where you can get through. But, like, canals and stuff, you can't. Ooh, that was a big one, actually, but... Oh, yeah, he is getting wrecked. Yeah, I would say our Navy's putting in... Helping out some there. I still got convoys on the market, so... Two, three... Up. Oh. Read up another spot. That's a lot of civilian factories. That's a big encirclement. spend the XP for the extra torpedo hit chance, that'd be pretty nice. Ooh, let's go ahead and have some of our guys do convoy raiding also in Adriatic Sea, because then that'll hurt his supply hubs there. Also hurt his reinforcements there. Fifty K casualties to Germany and sixty K casualties to Italy. Well, we have taken no casualties. Beautiful. Again, we do actually lose manpower by when our ships sink, but uh the game doesn't really count that. Mm -hmm. You're exporting a lot. That should be giving us some autonomy, right? Oh, yeah. I forget dockyards are actually so cheap. Like, they cost about the same as infrastructure in terms of production costs.
But yeah, so when Vichy does it, we'll help them. That should ruin them, which should end the North African front pretty quickly, and then I'll probably just switch to... <sighs> like, I mean, to har trying to harass German shipping, I suppose. I mean, the only thing I really get... I mean, they could try to import oil. I think it's better to cripple, uh... Uh... Take care of such matters when the war is over. He's joining the Allies. Again, us raiding his uh, convoy should make it more difficult for him to actually prosecute a war from Greece. Or into Greece, I should say. building slots there. We also keep getting building slots in St. Lawrence, which cool. Eight convoys sunk there, four convoys sunk there, two convoys sunk there, all very, very nice. Despite dealing, like, a seventh of the casualties, no war score, no war support, oh well. Well, that wasn't quite enough to save Yugoslavia, but Greece might still hold on. What's this? Oh, I get a bunch of American destroyers. Well, I'll throw them into that task force then. Uh, do I want a good tactical bomber? I don't think so. I think we'll just stick with strategic destruction. We want smaller forces, higher probability of getting an engagement.
Wait, what? Oh, okay. Weird. Oh, I guess the straight... Ah, oh, the straight of a Toronto. Interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. Huh. Okay, then. Once again, though. The Marines can pass that. Well, it's... Eh, I don't really... Well, well, I guess we can research the base... Uh, X or whatever for getting us just better approximation of the enemy strength and economy. Some more oil. Home front. Cool. More, more support. Their base horse port is still incredibly low. Ben probably doesn't have a good railroad connection, so I'm guessing he's still sending a lot of convoys. that I can't build AA in his territory. I don't think I can actually build in his territory to gain autonomy. Wait, if I send an attache, would that actually uh, increase my autonomy? Or is it only, like, if he sends an attaché, it would reduce my autonomy? They're getting a lot of factories, I will say. We're at 91 factories. UK is 252. British Raj is 61. Okay, we have a lot of factories. Okay, should we declare war on America soon? If they haven't already. Yeah, they haven't yet.
or Ethiopia. Uh, drug into some one thing that's technically considered an offensive war, which is annoying. I to convert these mil some of these military factories. I don't. The annoying thing is you uh, can't really convert the. Uh, uh, so I think that would actually incentivize doing equipment conversion. So yeah, like how much does that cost? Seventy two hundred. It costs seventy two hundred. It costs as much. I guess I am just better off building things and selling it. I mean, I guess we'll try and put guns on the market and see if anybody wants them. Not all of them. Sure, okay, I guess they did want to buy our close air support. You know, you are also, let's go, where's British Columbia? There we go. Japan will have a lot more success with raiding just because, you know, everything has to travel from the island. There's the war. Okay, I think it's worth it to take our submarines out and send them all to, uh... Send them all to go bother Japan. There you go. Now the United States is in the alleys. We should have no problem with range for the most part. They're asking for fleet basing rights because it doesn't look like we can actually repair with fleet basing rights, which 
kind of defeat the purpose, but whatever. Oh yeah, we're sinking a bunch of combos here. He's gonna have a bad time. Already 16k casualties inflicted. I guess we'll see what, what kind of damage did we do to... So he did about a, almost 100k to Italy. Over 100k to... Germany. And nothing else, really. A little bit to Romania, but not much. Japan, I suspect, though, we're going to get a lot... We're going to see a lot more damage. That's a lot of convoys. Oh yeah, he's starting to feel those supply problems. I mean, the good news, in theory, if we can beat Japan earlier, uh, that should be sooner than the communists launch their revolt, and they hopefully won't get called into the Allies. Oh, we got kicked out of the top five casualty list on Japan. Oh, well. There goes Leningrad. So many convoys were raiding. They're not getting us on the kill counter, though, so they must just be a bunch of, like, freight convoys and whatnot, which is still cripple going to cripple his industry. Uh, make him overall just less effective. Yeah, I want the improved auto cannon for the tanks I want to make. I think some medium tanks would sell pretty well. Uh, can I remove Great Depression? Maybe you could get rid of Great Depression with, like, a different... Oh, I see, so if you, like, you can remove it with that one, it looks like. But I don't think we can get... I mean, if there is another way we could remove it, we should get a different bonus, so. That should be fine.
low risk, and I think we want the reveal chance. We don't want to get spotted, and then we want the hit chance, because we basically just show up, attack. Am I able to pick this? Minecraft hat. <laughs> and then uh, loading drill mask for sure. I want to get this last tech there. And then we'll actually make a medium tank. We got on the casualty counter yet? Nope. I will say we are definitely we definitely saved the Philippines because his supply lines are bad. <laughs> yeah, I think all the Japanese soldiers have bad supply because we're just destroying any freight convoys coming out from Japan. We're almost at max. Uh, uh, we're almost at max. Um, base stability. So there's no real reason. Oh, shoot. Uh, 250 days. Okay, that actually would be a while. Let's also go ahead. We go ahead and try to get flame tanks. Actually, I don't really need... I don't think I'll need the improved engine. Let me see. So let's see. It's the welded armor that adds a chromium cost. Honestly... I might actually want to do welded, because if the cost price scales based off of production... I mean, but I could just import chromium. Cuba's got tons of chromium, so it's not going to be a big deal. Ram. Well, let's do it. Port from Cuba. What are we doing on our autonomy? We get autonomy for lend leasing to our master. Two overlord. Does he need anything? All right, 50 convoys will actually get us there. Sure, USA, I'll take your convoys. Because we're already at, like, 806. Yeah, so 175 Lund Lease will get us almost all the way there. Oh, we got one of my submarines.
They just need to push. Like he's so his forces are so weak that they have no supply. Oh shoot, that's right, because my divisions are training. I have enough guns though to fill those guys out. Oh right, I wanted the higher tier planes. All right, what was the... Oh, yeah, the CMP truck. Um, yeah, sure, we can go ahead and do that. Oh, maybe we'll save up the political power to become autonomous, because honestly, we're not getting too much for Commonwealth research. But I don't know if we'll still stay in it. Oh, there goes Moscow, so they still got... Oh, they lost Stalingrad. Oh, looks like the Soviet Union is going to fold again. Not sure what the deal is with that. Hooray, I'm on 100k casualties on Japan. And again, yeah, China's getting... They're getting pushed out of China pretty severely, and they've almost been pushed out of the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, let's... We have to commit to the war to raise our conscription law. Okay. Oh, right, I need to be saving up my political power. For the autonomy, so we get an extra research slot. Not that we super need it, although I should, probably should go ahead and start researching 1944. Submarines. No, I must resist the temptation. Although I will go ahead and expand those iron mines. So many convoys. Some of those be troop convoys, 200k casualties just from that. Just from convoy raiding.
All right, I should be able to get by with just these population bonuses, I think. Oh yeah, uh, let's sell some tanks. Thousand on the market. People want some tanks. Which, uh, with the advanced medium, we go ahead and make the tank design. This bad boy can fit so much armor on it. Oh, that uses a lot of steel, though. Nobody wants mediums, it seems. Oh, mediums? Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess we could start importing from the UK. Only problem is we're going to lose some autonomy if we do that, so... Prefer to avoid doing that. I don't think I have any other focuses that I benefit from by still being in the, uh, being a subject of the UK or anything. Looks like people do want to buy mediums, which is good. Freedom! Extra research slot time. Somebody tells me I've sunk a lot of Japan's convoys. Eh, I still have like 150 left, but definitely a reduced amount. Oh, geez. Uh, how many task forces is that? So let's just consolidate them all. There we go. Uh, yeah, sure, I never really... Yeah, we lose some XP, but... Reduce production costs. Actually, I wonder how that works if we have reduced production costs for... Uh... I 
wonder how the reduced production cost uh, affects, like, the price we sell our tanks for. I feel like he's not sending his convoys out anymore. But yeah, we basically... He didn't take the Philippines, the Dutch East Indies, or anything getting pushed out of China, yeah. Alright, let's... Okay, let's send our fleet back to raid and cause problems, because it looks like they're trying to defend North Africa relatively successfully so we'll just blanket it in sub strike forces Yep, and there we go, because he has to, at a minimum, be sending supply convoys out, which we can raid. Wow, whoa! Oh, wait, that's just a stack of a bunch of them. That's a lot of convoys. Wow. So wait, what? So what did we get up to on Japan? Uh, 200k casualties inflicted. All right, so we've been knocked off of Italy, Germany. We're still on with 170k. And then yeah, you're gonna start to see these guys have some bad supply, which also we can help out by, as always, fixing the Allies' supply by just building. Supply hubs for them. Watch, they'll probably finish, and then they'll just immediately be like, oh, hey, we can push now, because we don't have terrible supply. Bunch of naval invasions. Uh... Okay, I'll get this equipment conversion speed, because I don't know if that speeds up converting factories, because if it does, that'd be helpful for us. I'll just wait. It'll only be 150 days. It'd be a little bit more optimal to go ahead and put the improved snorkel on our uh, guys. Kind of wanted to use a design company, but whatever. I guess the flip side is we weren't ready on convoys, I could have sent those guys on, like, patrol. Just have them, like, always engage. Try to do some damage. Uh, oh, right, I wanted to increase our conscription law.
Is that supply hub? Ah, that isn't connected to a port, so we can actually fix that, because the AI won't build railroads, but we will. Did I lose some submarines? Oh, well. Wait, 100 of our submarines were in that battle? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh... Okay, that's too many task forces. But I'm going to go ahead and switch these guys to always engage. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, now the big thing is we, we could be engaging when, like, convoys are actually guarded or something. Which could benefit us. And we have a ton of submarines, so why not? How much of a navy do they even have? 15, 19, Vichy still has a little bit of Navy. Germany has not much of a Navy. How much Navy does Japan still have? They still have a little bit. But I also was doing, like, pure convoy rating. I don't think I was really shooting down any of their ships. At least you got a supply hub. Alright, let me see. Oh, shoot. Well, no wonder our... These probably aren't doing too well. I have no oil. Um... Let's see if I want to do a conversion. If I want to build it. So do I get a plus 40% bonus? War economy. So conversion costs reduced by 20%. No, but you don't get a conversion speed bonus. Unfortunate. Yeah, converting just really isn't worth it. There we go, now it looks like we're getting more engagements again, because, spoiler alert, actually having gas in the tank is pretty sweet. French scuttle fleet. The Germany didn't get anything from taking over Vichy.
All right, I'm pretty confident that we've more or less ruined his supply hubs and whatnot. So I'm going to take him back and we're going to go back to Pan. Back to convoy raiding, which honestly, eh, I don't know if it'd be worth it to convoy raid over there as well. Well, game's starting to slow down, but that's to be expected. All right, now here's where it kind of sucks because these guys will start using chromium, but the visibility reduction though. Sub-10 visibility, beautiful. Finish. Actually, I might have these guys actually deploy, and I might group them up in Vancouver and have them do something different. The difference between British Columbia... Oh, so, I see. And group them up and have those guys not do convoy raiding, but just actually engage directly, because they should be pretty good in a fight, I would think. But we'll see. Let's see. Alright, so that was the last surge of our old submarines. So we should have a new the new submarines getting deployed shortly, which oh that chromium and steel usage. Ah. Oh, I just don't have enough convoys available. Well, we can fix that. Honestly, let's just put like 15 factories on convoys because like I could use the extra convoys and it would stress our steel production a lot less. So these guys, I'm actually going to just have them patrol. Then have these guys all go into that fleet. See if uh, he'll be more interested in my newer tanks. Thanks very much. Oh yeah, no problem, Kosh. I mean, this isn't really a very detailed naval playthrough on account of, um... Oh cool, they do flexible luck, the AI. Uh, on account of I'm just spamming out submarines. But, 
I mean, at least against Japan, it's pretty effective because you just cripple their economy by sinking all their convoys. But in terms of, like, actual surface one, trailing a substantial amount of steel from the U.S. without using lots of steel. See, here's the thing. Uh, we're already taking all the U.S.'s steel, and it's not enough. <laughs> we need so much steel. Ugh. Which I think I've already done. Yeah, I've done all the excavations I can do for more steel. I might actually have to close my economy. Or oh, cancel more of my experts. But the thing is, I'm getting, I'm getting so many factories from trade that I don't think I really need to. Alright, so he is net gaining convoys. The well, Soviet Union's still holding out to an extent. Oh, so I'm still in the Commonwealth Research Group, even though I'm independent. Cool. Oh, yeah, I want these guys that always engage. Oh, yeah, Japan's basically given up with their navy, it looks like. They have a navy, but they probably just can't afford to fuel it or anything. Oh, no, oh, no, he's got ships operating down there. All right. Two submarines, I have getting two destroyers. I'll take that trade. Turkey joins the Allies, so that opens up another front. Assuming they'll actually... Oh, uh, yep, they're in the war. That does open up a front, which should hopefully stress out the... give the Soviet Union a little bit more breathing room, I suppose. Damn about these. Yeah... Yeah, you, I mean, yeah, a little bit past the Urals, and they're usually done. But we'll see. I mean, yeah, I don't know why the Soviets seem to be folding so much when I play as Canada. The Allies don't seem to do a, be doing a great job of their D-Days, although they might have enough troops, actually, to get this going. If they dump a bunch of planes into... There, yeah, it looks like Germany's scrambling to deploy troops. Yeah, they might be able to pull... Uh, I don't know, they're thinning out their lines too much. They get encircled too easily. Got eight destroyers knocked out. Nice. Oops. Go ahead and split these guys in half. Do we actually get a, ba a carrier? Nice. Converted battleship hold, but still. Make sure they have automatic split, and they're on all, both tasks, tasks, task forces are on auto, always engage.
that you guys are seeing with the Navy stuff, that even with, like, really strong navies, and even with a country like Japan where you can completely encircle and cripple them, you still need to take charge yourself. You can't expect the AI to do it. I mean, the AI will eventually get them, but it'll be a while. Another carrier. I mean, that's pretty significant if we're actually, like, sinking carriers and stuff. How do we only have 31 score, though, for all the convoys? We've destroyed thousands of convoys. Who's landing that? Oh, that's a Brazil landing. Good for them. Guys in half again. Like he's managed, we had 160, so he managed to get one submarine, but that's not a whole lot, honestly, at the end of the day. Whoops. No, that stuff actually really matters for us. Really sorry, fanboy of Congress, I have Sokolin. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they've got like 18 oil, which I mean, I guess they've probably closed their economy, so they're getting all that oil. Oh, yep, they're on limited exports. Uh. I don't know. I mean, honestly, at that point, it's probably relatively easy to just invade the home islands. Because usually the AI is pretty bad about actually defending Japan proper. to sacrifice a little bit of that now i can do approved work conditions to get our base stability ticking back up again up oh, he's moved his fleet out of there where's his fleet operating oh we got two battleships and a cruiser nice another battleship and another cruiser Oh yeah, sure, get cheaper convoys, that's always nice. Oh, he is actually starting to do naval invasions, which I'm surprised he's able to do, but okay. Like, I mean, they gotta be having a bad time trying to get supply from Japan. Let me see. I mean, they have supply, although if they have small infantry divisions, that's quite a few divisions for them to be pulling the intrinsic supply. I mean, yeah, those guys are having a bad time.
think, I would think, I mean, I've got this place surrounded with, hmm, I wonder if it's better. Let me group, let's test something. Let's actually, I want to see this in action. So I want to select these guys, and I'm going to put these guys under their own naval commander. And then this way we'll have smaller forces overall. So split in half, half, half. Always engage. Convoy rating. These guys, same deal. And then we'll see if we have a lot, a bunch of much smaller strike forces. Hello, Boomoopra. If we have a bunch of lot smaller strike forces, maybe we'll get a lot more engagements, because I know that is one thing when it comes to convoys, that uh, the smaller the stacks you have, the easier it is for them to engage. I think it has to do with positioning and stuff like that. We got two carriers there. Knocked out two battleships, a cruiser and a destroyer. Nice. What is this? It cost us a submarine, but we got a carrier and a battleship. Oh yeah, his navy's having a bad time of it. I mean, how many ships does he have left? We've sunk a lot of his ships. 52 to 76. We can get that lower. I guess, see, it doesn't look like he's got ships operating anywhere anymore. Probably knocked, knocked out, did so much damage to him that whatever ships he does have are repairing. China's forced Japan out of mainland Asia, so good for them. Turkey's not doing so hot. Yeah, Soviets seem to be having a lot of problems lately. Don't know why. Nothing we're doing should be uh, affecting them. I mean, in theory, if we're playing as the Allies, it should be doing stronger, because I'd like to think we're more competent. I mean, especially with the Dominican Republic, because, you know, base game, Dominican Republic doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, they're actually pulling off Amsterdam. I'm having a bit of trouble with fighters, so let me actually build. Let's actually build some fighters, because I can. I think I got most of the upgrades I need. Make some indestructible airplanes. That's still not enough. Okay, maybe not quite so indestructible airplanes. Yeah. Those are some expensive planes. Oh, uh, wanna see me destroy my economy? Oh. I mean, it's not like Japan's got ships to raid us, so... Oh, I forgot to build infrastructure there. Wait. Oh, that's where I'm building it right now. Oh, yeah. These are going to be some, like, you know, just for 
fun. Let's go ahead and just get one deployed. I wonder if the air wing just gets destroyed if it gets a... If, like, the single plane that's in the air wing gets destroyed, but... And, of course, as soon as they send in a plane out, they're like, okay, no more planes in that area. Okay, he's got a bunch of planes down there, actually, so... Enemy fighters lost one shot down, I'll take it. Yeah, need more oil. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're putting now we're doing some damage. Uh see the problem with turrets, from my understanding, is typically Like yeah, these give max four defense. I mean I guess they add some air attack. And you get some more agility when on close air support. Just a little weird. But I think the, uh, I mean, you get more defense with the armor plates. But I guess what? Uh, I guess the big thing is these cost less weight. But if you don't care about weight, which I really don't because we have a pretty good amount of production. Uh, I think stacking on the armor plates. Plus also... Uh, getting the defense super high makes the planes basically indestructible. Like, you can see, well, we overwhelmingly outnumber them here, which also means fight and freeze. I don't know. I like the armor plates. All right, there we go. We lost one fighter, but, I mean, considering, well, I, I hate the way they, I will just constantly be shuffling planes around. Do you know Warhammer 4K? Oh, yeah. I'm a bit of, I dabble. By that, I mean, I just play a couple, like, of the Warhammer 40K video games and never actually played it. China joined the Allies. Wait, so, why did China join the Allies? Because Communist China? Oh, they dissolved the United Front. Well, hopefully they declare war on the United Front before... Communist China joins common turn, because I would be sad. Might join the Axis, actually. I don't know if Communist... No, they couldn't join the Axis. They, or they think they'd be deterred from joining the Axis if they're at war with Japan. All right, well, they're pushing from the Netherlands, so that's good for them, at least. Uh, no, they just transferred occupation to the United Kingdom. 
So, you know, not core territory for them, so they're incentivized to transfer it so that they don't have to garrison it. Also, I, the, the, po entirely possible the UK requested control of it because they want to prep a naval invasion of... Uh, prep a naval invasion of Japan. how that works mechanically with Liberia joining the Allies. Like, do they just eventually, like, get a random event asking them to join the Allies? Or I'm not sure what exactly determines, like, how countries with default focus choose. Maybe they just have a decision that unlocks after a certain period of time. How did the Dutch East Indies get capitulated? Like, they literally, not a single ship is able to leave Japan without getting intercepted. What is going on? Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be a realm of souls, right? Uh, I mean, I think the general thing is that, like, souls aren't particularly happy in the 40k universe. Uh, And then also it's inhabited by, like, the gods of chaos who just generally get up to no good. And then the god, the, like, chaos gods are manifested by people's, people's negative emotions, essentially. Like, there's no... In the Warhammer 40k universe, at least, it doesn't seem like there's any, like, positive, um... There's no, like, positive alternative to the, uh, Chaos Gods. A rock joined. Okay. I think it's Batavia. Is it Batavia? Yeah. Well, that's the Rubber Island. They get, uh... I mean, yeah, most of the oil that's in the Indies comes from Sumatra and Java. I mean, I guess there's a little bit in Borneo. But not that much. Although I think they get more if they do, like, the excavation tax. Alright, let's take these guys... Have the merge up. And then back to patrolling here, because there's nothing else to really do. He's clearly still got a navy. 
so our ships could do a little something. Pirates are trading pretty well. Not as good as I would hope, but we are pretty later in the game, so he's presumably got some better airplanes. Sometimes you can see the kill counts get crazy as they start to pull, like, really old airplanes out of stockpile and send those up. And also, once you have numerical superiority, the kill ratio gets better and better. Uh, that I don't know. I mean, I also think it's one of those things where it's just, like, part of the problem with, like, the warp and stuff is that, uh... It over... It, like, overwhelms the, uh... Hey, right, Paris Liberate. Oh, okay, they're doing pretty well, actually. They're based. So Germany's probably toast now. Still have their entire, like, most of their air force down here, though. Um. Like, I think it's one of those things where, you know, people just, like, the mortal mind just can't really comprehend the war. So that's part of it. Uh. And then also, it's not like the Imperium really does academic studies of the war. You know, it's more of like just considered sort of a necessary evil for them to interact with. It's not like they approach it from like a perspective of trying to understand it. And anybody that does try to understand the war, that's a heretic. Request garrison support? No, France. Why do you need garrison support? Just quit doing local autonomy. Like, literally switch to local police force or something. That's what the AI should do. Like, at a minimum, the AI should switch to, like, local police force or whatever garrison law they can do, which minimizes their garrison requirement before requesting garrison support. That's just obnoxious. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I don't know, because I know in Warhammer Fantasy there are, like, good gods. Um. But I don't think the same thing really exists. Like, you just basically have more or less, like, the god emperor. I don't know if the Eldar have gods. I think, like, the Eldar deities got straight up killed or something in 40k, but... I, I'm not... Super adept at the 40k lore. Oh, Denmark's back at it again. I mean, yeah, I don't think Germany's too long for this world. Soviet Union succeed in getting Moscow back? Nope. This is one of those awkward things where, like, at this peace conference, like, they're probably still going to give the Soviet Union an occupation zone in Germany, even though that would make absolutely no sense based on how the war turned out. Yeah, this year, the Soviet Union is just fighting for its life is more or less like a rump state, having lost, like, most of their major industrial centers. Well, I guess they if they ship their industry to the Urals. I mean, I guess they have, like, Kazan and Gorky still. I don't know if they've reconquered those. 
Who declared war on Iran? Oh, we did. Of course we did. Oh, our ships don't really seem to be doing all that much. So how close is Germany to capitulating? Eh, pretty close. Italy should get their civil war soon. I gotta go blame Canada. Yeah, you blame Canada for the Soviet Union having a bad time. Why they're having a bad time, I don't know, but apparently it's my fault. <laughs> so, Munich, it'll probably take, I don't know if it takes Vienna falling for Germany to capitulate. We still have most of his air force down here. Yes, I feel like he, the air force is needed elsewhere, but you know, they know their business better than I do. Like troops fighting in Turkey while Berlin's occupied. The Soviet Union at war with the... Oh, the Soviet Union got themselves into a war with co-prosperity sphere. Well, not that, they're really, not that that really affects them at all. All these naval battles. I guess he's sending his planes out. Well, now they don't have their oil anymore, so... There's that. At least they got extinct because of war in heaven. Huh. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. In the 40k universe. Interesting that they ceded the, like, uh, Jordan, Palestine. But a lot of times they usually give them, like, the Gulf states also. I guess, yeah, well, this was... Why does Turkey control... Oh, they just have a claim on it. Let the political landscape shift. Yeah, it's fine, because guess what I'm going to do, guys? All right, they took Munich. Eh, pretty close. Probably still going to take losing. Eh, might be able to just take, like, the rest of Silesia and Linz, maybe, and that'll do it. That's ten, that's five. I guess, does Danzig? Did they core Danzig? Yes. So that means it also contributes. So Danzig would also... Lose them some victory points also if they lose it. I think. I'm not sure how that works actually because they didn't capitulate Poland. So I don't know if that actually contributes to their wars. I don't know. A few million years later, an absolutely worse decision. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it does sound like the best decision.
been that problem where like I want to get up, but like this game should also be ending at any moment. Although I do, I do not know how Japan is prosecuting a war in the Dutch East Indies while I have them completely surrounded. They have like tripled the number of convoys they used to have. We still got planes down here, and eh, not many. Where it says Air Force, if he still has one. Well, I could build some close air support, and that would actually help out more. So let me do that. I never researched the close air support tax. <laughs> uh Oops. That's just how it is sometimes, you know. Almost been sacked, yeah. I mean, um, Mussolini's been deposed, so that means we're about to get the weird, like, flipped. The Allies just cannot break through. Oh! Oh, I thought something was going to happen. Oh, that was just the year rolling over. Yeah, they are still sinking convoys. But it's just not enough. There's the Civil War. Which, yeah, I, that probably wreaks havoc on... Eh, it looks like they preserved the Italian army a pretty good amount. Reeks had a little bit of havoc on the front lines. Oh, okay, so one of their problems is they don't have supply there, so if I actually just build a rail connection there, it should help them quite a bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now they have supply, that'll probably help them out quite a bit. Cannon. And we have this, we will soon discover bombs. Hooray. Didn't know bombs existed until now, apparently. Alright. Let's do... Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we're looking at 40 weight. Heck yeah. Not strategic material usage. How much do extra fuel tanks weigh? Is that enough? <gasps> exactly what I need. Beautiful.
Most of it, yep, Necron would end all organic. A few billion years later, they become a breakfast for demons. Yep. I mean, in the grim, dark future, there is only grim and dark at the end of the day. Oh god, what happened to the- what is with this garrison? What happened? Did the Soviets push? What? I, mean, I guess the German, like, line is folded, so fair enough. Look at Finland holding the line, though. All right, let's try to, because all they got to do is basically break Vienna, so. What? Yeah, oh, wow, like, this completely ruined. Oh, wait, did Germany capitulate? Is that what happened? Oh, Germany capitulated. Okay, that's what happened to the front lines. All right, fair enough. No France. Hooray! Give me your navy. Yep, once again, Soviet occupation zone. Weird Poland. Again, this... I get that they did this for the, like... I get why they changed it to where the peace conference usually ends up being this, but, like, come on, guys. Oh, Syria got released, huh. Oh, right. They're, they're... Oh, America also is. Invaded uh, Japan, so let's just send our planes to help them out. We're almost done. We may have avoided a war in China. Well, not really, because as soon as this is over, China's going to declare war on. Communist China, and then that's probably going to call common turn in, and that's going to be a whole thing. Although, realistically, Alex could probably win that war pretty easily, I would think. But... Heavy fighters? Oh, yeah, I got a ton of heavy fighters in reserve. No space to deploy them, though. I mean, realistically, his planes should have a bad time because they have no oil, so. Give that northern... Can't, I can't do, uh... Oh, uh, well, I think I can use console commands maybe to transfer, but I don't have state transfer tools, so I can't, unfortunately, can't pick these board, fi uh, fix these borders. Uh, well, so the Middle East border is because, like, Iran and Iraq haven't capitulated yet because they're in the co-prosperity sphere, so they won't, or... They've capitulated, but they haven't been annexed yet, because they won't be annexed until the thing actually, like, the war actually ends.
Can you guys just like build some air bases over here? Like, come on. Atomic bombing of Siam. Oh, there it goes. Give me your fleet. Why does Rock have so many screening ships? A fine addition to my collection. American Japan. Oh, they just puppeted it. And China got the Ryukyu Islands. Or Okinawa. And Iwo Jima. Interesting. What does fleet look like nowadays? We did it. We saved the city. Oh, they also got Southern Sakhalin. Pretty of Brussels. Yeah, sure. So that, this is, yeah, so China, okay, so China did leave the Allies. Interesting that Ireland joins now, so all this to run until, uh, we should convert over to, oh, the North Atlantic, oh, we could just trigger it now. Oh, yeah, that's just a thing. So, I don't know what the problem is, but if you release an independent Austria while Germany exists, Austria will just, like, even after they've been, like, forced democratic or whatever, they will just do, do like, let themselves be annexed by Germany again, and I don't know why. I think they've just been, like, eh. I think it has to do something with Germany getting cores on them, I think. I love how Denmark is fascist still. All oh, right, the beginning still fighting Finland. Surprised China hasn't declared war on. Oh, something happening. Oh, there we go. Stuff's about to get... Well, they joined commenters, so that means something will get serious. It's crazy how big this focus tree is. I've been doing focuses this whole time, and I still have a lot of focuses to do. There goes Finland.
Oh boy, here we go. Oh, they also annexed Siam. Okay. Oh, that's not too surprising. Oh no! Well, China's gonna have a bad. Wow, they are actually already having a bad time. Interesting that the UK is still the leader. I think the Allies are pretty reluctant to do, like, the faction leader takeover, but... Alright, uh... Well, I'm gonna call it there, because... For obvious reasons. Uh, but I hope you guys had fun. Uh, this was neat. Did a little bit more Navy stuff, but yeah, I think this shows, overall, though, the importance of just... Even with the Navy and an Air Force, you really just gotta have boots on the ground if you want to do something. So, I don't even know who's next on the country list. <laughs> the Dutch East Indies, yeah, well, I guess we'll have a little bit more Navy stuff to do for them. But yeah, uh... Uh, make sure you guys like the live stream if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Comment if you've got an idea for something you want to see me do. And I will see everybody next time. Bye.